But the, our title for our lesson on stewardship is stewardship, ownership versus possession. It's not yours. And one thing we, the, everything that we dealt with so far, talking about our body is not our own. The Bible says, you're not your own, you've been what? Bought with a price. Therefore, we should glorify God in, in our bodies. So the first week we talked about how our body is not our own. The second week we talked about how our gifts and our talents are not our, our own. And I missed that. I heard a lot of great things about it. But um, this week we're talking about how the family is not our own, but it belongs to who? God. And so we're going to pick up there this week. And we're going to be talking about the family, God's gift. Our responsibility. If I say God's gift, our responsibility. Look to the person next to you and say God's gift. Well, well let me ask you this: What's a what's a gift? Anybody? I'm free. Don't cost anything. What'd you say? Something that's that's like a present that's given to you, John. Wow. And it, it's a blessing, you know, to have this gift. And I, I just wonder how many of us look at our families as a gift from God. As a gift. And when I think about a gift, anytime I give a gift to somebody, it's something that I think that I hope will benefit them. Yeah. That they will enjoy. Something that they can use. That will be profitable to them. And our, our families to us are a gift from God. What the world would be like if we didn't have a family? Yeah. Ain't nothing like, like family. And we gotta we need to understand that and understand that it is a gift. And not only a gift, but it's a gift not from me, but it's a gift from who? God. God. And so with that gift though comes responsibility. Somebody read the little intro for me. Everything that God does is by design and on purpose. And so it is up to the family. Mm -hmm. When God instituted the family in Genesis chapter 2, it is up to the divine purpose. Stop right there. Um, everything that God does is by design and he does it on purpose. God instituted the family in Genesis chapter 2. It started with who? Adam and Eve, and he instituted the family, but when he instituted the family, he did it by design. He had a certain way he wanted it set up, but also he had a design, a divine purpose for the family. That's something that we need to keep in mind. He had a, design, a divine purpose for the family. Read on. As stewards of every good and very gift, God has All right, so as stewards, and somebody tell me what stewards is. Y'all should know by now. We've been talking about this for the past few weeks. What's a steward? Caretaker, manager. Um, some, some, somebody entrusts something over to you, and they, they expect you to deliver on, on what they've entrusted you to do. So as stewards, Stewards of every good and perfect gift. Every good and perfect gift comes from who? God. Comes from God. It is our duty and our responsibility to use these gifts to bring God glory. But what I'm talking about when I'm talking about bringing God glory? Break it down for me. Break it. You're just making God look good. You're making God, you're showing the world how awesome God is. So we bring God glory and make people want to know who he is. So how, how is that, when you tie that into the family and glorifying God? The way you're making God look good. He said making God look good. Uh, making the world look at you and see the awesomeness of God. Yeah. So go ahead, Pooh. <laughs> the world can see how your family works together and how they get along. When you really look at, a lot of times, God just describes himself as the relationship with us. The him as the father and his children as okay. the family. So we see how our family works together, we can kind of see under a microscope how God's family works together. We want to have that relationship. Mm -hmm. And so as your family should be used, he said, to make God look good. Mm -hmm. How can I use my family, 
me as husband and wife, my my kids and that 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 unit, how can we be used to make God look good, to represent God, to make people in the world see this and recognize the awesome power of God? God wants to use your family for this purpose. So as we fulfill, go ahead, Brother Malone, as we fulfill. As we fulfill our God-given role, according to this instruction, mm -hmm. we, we can find joy and fulfillment with the uh, with me in the home, while also accomplishing God in our purpose. All right. So as we fulfill, you know, God did it by design. And so as we fulfill our God-given roles according to his instructions, by his design, uh, we can find joy and fulfillment within the home and while at the same time accomplishing God's divine purpose. Uh, one thing I see when I, when I think about glorifying God and when I think about even the children of Israel, how God talked about in Isaiah 43, 7, he said, those who have been called by my name, he said, I've chosen them that they shall bring bring forth glory, glorifying me by, you know, the way we live and the things we do. But the thing about Israel, they made God look good, but in the time me and God made them look good. God God got to got the credit, but we get the blessings. You know, we God gets the credit, but we get to look good. We get to to receive, enjoy the, the pleasures and the blessings while at the same time and the world sees this, but we have to give God the credit. Go ahead, Brother John. This is very good, but we need to always remember the design and the purpose that go together. The way God designed it, it, it fulfills that purpose. And we need to be purposeful as children of God and stewards uh, over the family. Uh, and remember the purpose because we need to understand that no matter what goes on, this whole thing is bigger than us. It's bigger than us. It's, a, it's more to it than just what we enjoy, what we do, because it affects the whole of what God is doing. Yeah. So that, that, that's the importance. That's uh, the importance of the family. Now, I want to say about it. It's also inside uh, God don't have, have to do anything. About it. Right. He has a design, he designed it. And, and the way God designed the family, designed the home, that was this, that's the way it should be. And anything that is not uh, made according to the design or the past, you got to mess up. Exactly. You got to be, you gotta be messed up. Right. And, and God has a purpose. God has a purpose for the home. And the home is the oldest institution uh, in the world. That was the first institution God. It was designed by God. God. And when I see people putting down family, mm. when I see, then you're putting down God's plan, God's design, you, you, yeah. you, you mess up everything God uh, uh, has planned and designed. Brother Ron, well, I, 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 like, I like that other part too. You get to enjoy it. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. When you do things God's way, uh, so much joy comes out of it. Yeah. 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 When you look at your family, when you raise your family, <laughs> my portion, but then he's getting ready to get married. Yeah. And you do it the way God designed it. Y'all better have some fun. Oh, y'all yeah. have some fun yeah. and singing yeah. and all that. But you're gonna have a different kind of fun yeah. when you do it God's way when you start raising your family. Amen. Go ahead, John. Along with that, it's great to find for every every marriage, every family is going to be tried. Going to try so we can keep that purpose in mind so when it's not fun, we will understand that it's still bigger, it's bigger than us. And we're going to get there. And the point he's making is, and it's a great point for what we're doing, you got to understand that it's bigger than me. God has a divine, a divine purpose. Everybody look to your neighbor and say, It's bigger than me. It's bigger than us. You know, it's bigger than your relationship. And you got to keep that in mind, especially as children of God. Y'all listening to me? As the people of God, God uses us yeah, yeah. for a purpose. In the world, you got all kinds of things that's going on, especially when it comes down to the family. You have, uh, now you got things like same-sex marriage that's out there. So homosexual 
reality and how that's trying to be portrayed and, and what people is calling a family. You have people who, who marry the ones and remarry unscripturally. You know what I'm saying? And so, and that people call a family. But we got to understand God has a family by design and on purpose. Y'all hear me? And especially for our young people. It's important so that you know why, why you're dating, you'll understand that there's a purpose behind uh, what God is trying to do with you and what God is trying to use you to do for his kingdom's sake. Sister Tiffany. So God's purpose and divine intention for the family. Let's talk about that. Because if you don't understand that, then you'll miss everything. Uh, God's purpose and divine uh, intention for the family. And Pooh already touched on it. Um, the family, a model for the relationship between Christ and his church. You see that in the relationship of the husband and the wife. So God, in the beginning, before the even church came into existence, Everything God, he, he has a plan, yeah. you know. Yeah. He saw the church way down in history. And so he designed the family in a way so that when he talks about what the church should be, All right. we can relate it to the family so we can really understand what God <laughs> really wants us to do. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you got to understand God's purpose, one of his, one of his main purposes for the family is to use it as a model mm -hmm. for what he's getting ready ex to establish all right, all right. Yeah. for the saving of man. Y'all hear that? Yeah. Man separated from God, lost in their sins, but when he saved us through Jesus Christ, he adds us to the church and we become the family of God. So yeah. way before he like, okay, I want them to understand how they need to relate to one another. Yeah. Yeah. I want them to understand how they need to relate to me. Uh, and so let me do something so that they can understand. So he made the family. Right. And so that's why it's important that we as the children of God model the family of God. So people can have a good understanding. A lot of times people don't understand the church because the family is messed up. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. You, today you have... Uh, uh, a father with kids here and kids here and kids here and kids here. And so when people think about the church, they think God has a father. God is our father and he has a, a family here and a family there. And a Baptist family, Methodist family. Yeah. Because they looking at it because we messed up the, the mom. And so it's important that we model what God will have us to be yeah. so that we can be used as stewards yeah. for his divine purpose. Yeah. Y'all get that young people? So you just can't go just pick anybody. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, so check this out. So the husband and wife relationship, uh, it models the relationship between Christ and his church. In Revelation 21, 2, it talks about a bride being adorned for her husband. Um, also, the, it's a model for the relationship between God and the church. Uh, that's the parent-children relationship. Uh, John 1.12 talks about how we have the right to become the children of God. And it shows how, you know, when I'm, when I'm hungry, I got a father who supplies all my, all my needs. And then we can understand the relationship between us and God because of what's modeled as a father when it comes down to Junie and Pete. 